Next step. Next step. Connecting the power cord to the control panel. In particular, we control. Uh, it's connected to the ground fault connection interrupter. Um, I have two. Power cord. Take off the female end. Um, snip it. Then you need to expose the wires there. So slice it down a little bit to open it up. Okay, now which these are some weird colors here. So it's probably useful to look at that machine for which color is which. Because it does matter. <laughs> Uh, we can only guess because these are some weird colors. Use this. Okay. So what now this, this may vary for various cords, but we know that we measured this and the relevant wires on this style of cord is the red and blue. Mm -hmm. This one you can completely trim away. Say it again. The gray one is at the bottom. Connected to the bottom. Oh, come down. Gray is connected to the bottom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Um, get, where's your light? Uh, these are the same cables. So, and at the end of the day, we will know that it's right because before we connect anything to the to the outlet, we make sure the outlet goes on. Okay. The green light will go on it if it's if it's med, and it doesn't matter which hole because it's AC, so it's um, not that important here. What's the light? And the GFCI will tell you which is important okay. uh, because if it's not wired right, it won't work. So. But let's do. Oh, the blue is on. So you don't have any ground on there, right? No, you don't. Because ground. Um, we're not doing anything. So we need to strip this one now. And we've got the wire strippers, which are. We grab one <laughs> set, so, one so set of wire and, strippers. So it's red and blue that we need, and we trim away the green wire. Yeah, trim away the gray. the gray wire. So strip loose strands around. Uh, you might not get them in a hole, or they might break off pretty easily. So you want to keep them together. So as soon as we've got it stripped and tinned, well, we we actually need to take that to the solder station and have them do that. So that's that's the instruction for the, the power cord. For terminals here that you can unscrew using a bigger screwdriver. There you go. And what this has is also a hole for that, so you can unscrew it from that side. Oh, it's actually a little hard to get in there. Stick it into the hole. Mm. Yeah, top or bottom, it doesn't matter. Uh, now, when you're putting it in, like, put it in, pressing that in, because that's where the yeah, hole is so lined up. Uh, you you put, basically put it all the way in, and then, um, once again here, you just screw it down. You do that for both sides. Now, that won't come out. Now, we are taking out the tenant first.